Okay, well, good, good afternoon. Thanks for coming out. Uh, today's a big day for the Evansville region as uh, today is the deadline for interested parties to submit proposals in response to the Indiana University RFP for the expanded medical educational facility to be housed in this region. Uh, this is the first, uh, just another step in a long process that will benefit the entire region. Uh, the deadline passed uh, about 30 minutes ago, so we thought it was appropriate today uh, to report to the public that the city of Evansville's developer, Skanska U.S. Health Realty, uh, has presented the city's proposal. It was delivered in person uh, to Bloomington today. Everyone arrived safely, as did uh, the proposal. Very excited about that. Here is the process as we understand it. Again, uh, 1 o'clock Central Time was the deadline. Uh, the IU team will now review the proposals that have been su submitted. We do not know how many have been officially submitted. Uh, they will select some finalists. That's what we were told last week. Uh, it is likely that they will ask for specific presentations from those finalists. Uh, we anticipate there would be a period of negotiations between Indiana University and any finalists that would be selected. Uh, this will happen in the February-March time frame, as we understand it, and the IU Board of Trustees would ultimately make a decision at its April board meeting. Uh, the Scansa U.S. Health Realty submission is for a specific site in downtown Evansville. We'll hand you uh, a map, and uh, at some point someone's going to push a button. Marion, you can do that right now. Uh, but the, here is the specific site that, we, that we're uh, uh, going to propose that we make our development on. It's uh, roughly speaking, it includes land between Locust and Cherry Streets, 4th and 6th. It's about a six-block area. Uh, we love the synergies that this site offers, especially its proximity to the hotel. We love the walkability of this site to other amenities within the downtown. Specifically, we are confident that this site can easily house the 170,000 square foot facility that's outlined in the RFP and can, has more than ample room for expansion, again as outlined in the RFP. The proposal that has been submitted on behalf of the city is a, is a dynamic urban campus concept that I am confident will exceed the requirements of the partnering institutions and provide a transformational boost to the urban core of our city. We know that 1,600 to 2,000 students will be on this campus day one when it opens. We believe this, uh, pl the placement of this campus in downtown will spur additional investment in the downtown area. Uh, the consultants estimate that the annual economic impact of the campus in 2020, in just six years, uh, will be $340 million, clearly a big boom to this area. Uh, more than 3,600 jobs are projected to be uh, sustained by this campus by the year 2030. Purpose for this campus, uh, the federal government has asked medical schools around the country to look at expanding enrollment to, to uh, meet a growing uh, uh, a, a growing uh, shortage of physicians around around the country. So this will create residency programs uh, with regional hospitals, and uh, we think it will be a big boom to help stop the, the uh, runoff of physicians. We know that seven in ten physicians stay in the communities in which they do their training. So the more we can get uh, doctors trained here, we believe they're more inclined to stay in this area. Uh, this has been a great process so far. I'd like to introduce uh, Dr. Dan Adams, at-large member of the Common Council. Dr. Adams has been in, I think, every meeting that we've had on this project, has been a huge uh, positive influence on the city's proposal. Dr. Adams, would you like to come up and say a few words? Good afternoon. Mayor Rinicky truly put a great team together. Um, the collaborative effort of that team was superb. The 190-page document that went north this afternoon, I thought, was a work of art. And I was very happy to be a part of that process and went along for the ride. Thanks. Any questions? We have. Uh Ed Hafer, the president of the Redevelopment Commission here. Ed's been an instrumental, instrumental part of the team as well that's put together this proposal. With that, we have happy to take questions. Yeah. Looks like several businesses uh, are in the way there. Uh, will the city be looking at purchasing St. Pete Patrick and the Deaconess Clinic? The city has uh, secured 
the necessary options and all the property we need. Will the campus cover this whole area? The, uh, in time it could. It certainly has the room for growth. Uh, we believe that uh, we can easily build the 170,000 square feet that the RFP originally requires us to build, and there is more than ample room on the site that's outlined to uh, double or even triple what uh, what the requirements are initially of this project. So not right on. Correct. Correct. And that was something that you required. Uh, it's part of the RFP. That's great. Were there other downtown sites that you folks considered? We looked at four general sites in downtown, but this was the site that uh, we thought brought the most synergy for other components that are other amenities that already exist in the downtown area. It will be in that area that's outlined there. And as you know, this, I mean, this is, remains a competitive process. Uh, again, as we uh, go down this path, and we hope that we're certainly selected by IU as a finalist, but we anticipate there would be periods of negotiations. We certainly have um, concepts that are, pre that are part of the 190-page document. Uh, IU may say, hey, we'd like to move this here or this there. And until uh, we are selected as the site, well, I think it's understandable why we don't want to tip our hands to what other developers that may be uh, competing for the same project. Can you elaborate on aspects of the city's proposal that you know, puts it at an edge and the Sure. I think, uh, I think if you read the RFP, this is just my, my opinion, I think it screams downtown. I think if you look at the social and cultural amenities that exist in downtown. I think if you look at the walkability of downtown, it says this location needs to be in downtown. We certainly have easy access to mass transit. Uh, we have uh, easy access to restaurants, bars, uh, shops that I think would be very attractive, whether you're a graduate student or an undergraduate student. And if the Center does go to this downtown location, can you talk about what that would also mean? You know, I think if you if you walk Main Street today uh, at lunch hour in good weather, uh, you'll see lots of people out and about. But imagine a campus, an, an exciting, dynamic, new campus right in the heart of the city with 1,600 to 2,000 more people downtown on day one. So I think instantly the whole vibe of downtown changes. I think the whole vibe of the city changes. And honestly, I mean, this is a vibe that will transform the entire region not just downtown if downtown is selected. There may be. Uh, we, Dr. Adams is aware of the incentives we're uh, talking about. Uh, in the coming uh, weeks, we'll be meeting with other members of the council to bring them up to speed on the level of incentives that we're, we're thinking about. Again, as I mentioned earlier, this remains a competitive process, so uh, I think it's understandable why we don't want to say today it's we're, we think we need to offer X number of dollars because uh, we don't want a competitor that's on another part of town or in another community that says, oh, that's what we need to, to, uh, to land it in our community or in our desired location. So uh, it remains highly competitive, and we certainly want to respect IU's interest in negotiating the best possible deal for that institution. So um, uh, needless to say, it's a, it's a sizable uh, potential investment, but that's why I think it's important to keep in mind what the potential annual economic impact is, $340 million annually by the year 2020. Whatever we invest will be a great return on the city's investment. And, you know, if we go back to, for just a moment to the discussions that uh, surfaced during the hotel uh, project, uh, the city, I think, clearly demonstrated we have the capacity within uh, our downtown TIF and other funding sources to adequately fund this project. It was a major concern of the council, which they voiced. We recognized, respected that. That's how we got the deal done as we did, and we believe there's plenty of funding available to do this project. I believe the uh, 
previous administration looked at this site as a possibility for a police or the Ford Center. Uh, did you look at all in the past about uh, you know, or the, this property? Um, the, the history of the, you know, how it may be considered for other things or if it's availability? Um, no. I mean, I mean, I surely recognize that that was a site that was considered before. Uh, but we frankly set out to look at four general areas in downtown. This happened to be one of them. Uh, we sat down with the majority property owner, uh, which happens to be uh, the folks at uh, D. Patrick, and sat down and um, under to explain to them what our goal was. Uh, they were extraordinarily professional and polite and respectful to work with, and we reached a, an option agreement that uh, we think is beneficial to us. Yes. Do you have any impression if IU supports the notion that it would be good for a major city in Indiana's economic development? Do you, do you, you know, I, I think it's probably on their radar, but my suspicion is that their main, main concern is going to be what's it going to cost to Indiana University in terms of a lease rate, and I suspect they want uh, a gleaming new state-of-the-art facility. Uh, I think the fact that it could be a huge economic engine for a downtown is probably icing on the cake. It does, we do, but again, we're not going to release those yet because, again, there could be a period of negotiations with Indiana University. They may say, hey, you know, we don't like this building or this concept. We'd like to move this here or there. And before we get into any real major public discuss discussion of that, again, so as to not give any competing site uh, an advantage if there is a period uh, of negotiations. Thanks, everyone, for coming out today.